So this is an exciting exercise because in this one we will be creating a function. So first, let's see what we need to do. We need to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, right? So first, let's take a user input. So we will ask from the user what is the Celsius degrees that you want to convert to Fahrenheit. So enter Celsius degrees. And then what we need to do is once the user has entered what, you, what he or she wants to convert to Fahrenheit, we will convert it to a number because by default, as we have mentioned in our previous exercises, user input will be string. That is, it will be a set of characters. We cannot operate mathematically on characters. We need it to be a number. So we will convert it to integer. Okay, so once we have the number, we can convert it to Fahrenheit. But this time, we will use a function to convert it to Fahrenheit. So first, let's go over here and write a function and call it Celsius to Fahrenheit and it will take Celsius you can put anything here it's just a variable name so let's just call it X all right but for readability we write what we want here so if you want Celsius here we can write Celsius here so I'll just write X for now and we will create a new variable and what will this be is this will be X that is x into 9 by 5 so this is the formula right this is the formula that is used to convert celsius into fahrenheit that is x into 9 by 5 and finally we add 32 so this is the formula and we have our function ready once the function is ready what we need to do is we need to return this fahrenheit right so we will do return fahrenheit so just in a moment you'll see what this does Okay, so we have a number here that the user has entered and we have our function here. Now we just call our function. So what we do is converted Celsius was to we use our function that we just created. And what do we need to pass here? We need to pass this number. So let's pass this. Now, once we have this statement here, return Fahrenheit, what will happen is once this is executed, once this is calculated, this will be returned. So this function will be returning Fahrenheit and it will be saved in converted Celsius. Now we just print. So converted temperature and then we just write converted Celsius. So this is it guys. Let's try to run this and let's see if it works. So click on run and click on run without debugging. Okay, I have an error. So as you can see, it is saying invalid syntax. Perhaps you forgot a comma. Yes, in fact, we did forget a comma. So enter the comma here and now let's run it again. This time it is asking, let's enter Celsius degrees. So let's say we want to convert 38 degrees and the converted temperature is 100. So you have a slight fever. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.